Hi guys, I'm Roxy and you're watching Crafty Dragon Gaming. Before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget if you want to follow my crazy ass over on Twitch, you can do so right there. And yes, it is Christmas and yes, I am wearing a Star Wars Christmas jumper. Would you expect anything else? Now because Christmas isn't shaping up to be the way we had all hoped, I have been inspired to try a new game. The new game for me anyway, it came out last December and it is called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Now I don't know about you, but I think we could use him right now. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the ray not a creature was fighting, no one in a fray. No stockings were hung by the chimney with care, they had all been naughty, no St. Nicholas there. Cthulhu was nestled all snug in non Euclidean space, I can't say that word, with visions of destruction lighting up his cold face. When out on the altar there arose such a clatter, that Cthulhu toppled out of bed to see what was the matter. There shall be no more poetry in my game, narrator. <laughs> I promise nothing. <laughs> but what's this? A present? From Santa? This cannot be. Goodness knows I've been anything but good this year. And yet, it was a present. And it did have a tag indicating that it was from Santa. Cthulhu opens the present. Odd. Ah! What foul sorcery is this? A dark mist envelops Cthulhu, stripping his power away from him. Oh no. Not my power, that's one of my favourite things! Without my power, how am I supposed to destroy the world? No, this shall not stand. I shall have my revenge. I will not rest until the blood of Santa adorns my blade. See, I was concerned that Cthulhu was going to be made out to be like this cuddly thing. Because, you know, Cthulhu saves Christmas! Mm -mm -mm, doesn't look that way. Excuse me, but I do believe this is a family-friendly game. <laughs> Do I look family friendly to you? Uh, uh, uh. Plus, this game is literally called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And save it I shall. Santa has lost his marbles, obviously. He must be stopped. Amazing. To the surface world, my quest for vengeance begins. Marvellous. So I was concerned that he was going to be uh, cute and cuddly, but no. That is not the case. On the beachy shore, bordered by the cliffs of insanity, Cthulhu spots a maiden beset by horrible monsters. Okay. A tutorial battle approaches. Nice. Basic tutorial 1. Recharge items. Hyper. Most character abilities can be used once and then they're disabled. Okay, yep, gotcha. Use a defend command like rest to recharge your character abilities. Okay. Items are shared by the party. Helpful. They are recharged at the start of battle but cannot be recharged mid battle. Fair enough. Makes sense. Use one wisely. Characters gain a hyper point each turn. When a character reaches their max hyper amount, they go into hyper mode. Marvellous, I'm guessing that makes them stronger. There we go. In hyper mode, abilities are enhanced. They can make the They may deal more damage, have more targets, or other bonuses. Nice. Plan ahead and make sure you have a powerful abit ability ready to take advantage on of hyper mode. So I'm guessing it looks like it is. It's so as we can see here, it's going to be turn-based fighting, which is awesome. I prefer turn-based. Um, so we've got slash, we've got tentacles, dark blast, and then we've got some curing. Okay, so we're gonna slash this bugger. <gasps> How dare you hit me! You will have my tentacles, man! <laughs> um, so my brain works quite slowly and I things like first person shooter games can be quite difficult um, because I can't focus on things fast enough before I'm shot. So turn-based works really well because it gives me time to think clearly and to see what I'm up against um, without being shot. So it, it, I, so personally, 
the game works for me. The crystal, thank you. Oh my gingerbread, you're Cthulhu, right? Love her hair, by the way. Just look at me. These tentacles, these wings, don't lie. <laughs> I know granting boons is not in your nature. It's a boon. But I'm sure you'll... Anyone else notice the Christmas pun? Right in the middle of that sentence. I'm sure you'll make an exception for me. I need your help. Hard pass. <laughs> I fucking love you, Cthulhu. You're amazing. Don't get your tinsel in a twist. I just need a tinsy tiny favour. And I'll be sure to make it worth your while. What you gonna do, Crystal? I doubt that, but continue. I am the Snow Maidle. Maidle? No. I am the Snow Maiden, Crystal Claws. Uh huh. Defender of the Winter Highlands and spreader of Highland. No, and spreader of holiday joy. Now. Bear with me here. If she's the defender of the Winter Highlands, shouldn't she have been able to do that fight herself? I'm just saying. I need your help to rescue my grandfather, Santa Claus. Santa Claus has a has children and grandchildren. You're kidding, right? Have you seen the title of this video game? She's not kidding. The League of Christmas Evil has kidnapped Santa Claus. I oh, know! So pay the ransom fee and be done? They don't want money, they want Santa out of the way so they can take over the holiday for themselves. They have been sending anti-presents, packages that when opened give the recipient the opposite of what they most desire. That must be why I felt my power draining. If they were powerful enough to kidnap Santa, they must be packing some serious firepower. And since your name is literally in the title, you have to be super strong, right? True. I am um, indeed mighty, even when operating at less than optimal levels. There are three different settings. If you help me rescue Santa, I guarantee that you'll be permanently on Santa's good list. Ugh. No more coal. Actual presents. And if I were to wish for the power, and if I were to wish for the power to destroy the world, I'll make sure it's granted. I don't think you will. Really? Santa is going to give me the power to destroy the world. That feels off-brand. Just a little bit. He might have reservations, but I'm sure when I explain to him what happens at the beginning of Cthulhu Saves the World, he'll be fine with it. I'm loving the fourth wall breaks. You have a deal. I shall save Christmas. Only to destroy it. <laughs> Marvellous. Love this. The darkness. The, the, the warmth and the wholesomeness and then the darkness through the middle. Fantastic. Cthulhu and Crystal Claws have joined forces. <laughs> so cute so cute I want a little pixelated Cthulhu if anyone ever wants to make me one basic tutorial 2 running menu, save encounters R oh sorry, running menu, save encounters basic tutorial 2 running menu, save encounters <laughs> hold the cancel button while moving to run faster I haven't actually found the cancel button Ways. Excuse me. Or you can go to the other settings menu and set running as the default. That's quite handy. I like that. That's not as an extra option. Press the main menu button and you can adjust your equipped abilities, change your equipment, and more. Don't forget to save often. The save menu can be found in the system sub menu in the main menu. While travelling in dangerous areas, the encounter meter will fill up. When full, you'll be attacked. Oh, I like that. You get a little warning. You know, just suddenly go, ha ha, surprise. You get a warning that you're going to get attacked. That's quite cool. And if you press the confirm button quickly when a battle is about to start, you can avoid it. So that's how you run away if you're in an area you shouldn't be looking. After defeating a number of enemies, a certain, sorry, 
After defeating a certain number of enemies in a single region, the encounter After defeating a certain number of enemies in a single region, the encounter meter will stop filling up, allowing you to explore freely. Awesome, so it even tells you when you are done with killing everything in the area. You'll also get some bonus XP when you clear out all enemies in an area. Helpful. If you're feeling bloodthirsty, or you just want some more XP, you can start a battle manually from the main menu. Helpful, again. Do the bare minimum, destroy everything in sight, or anything in between. The choice is yours. That's so cool. At least you get to make a choice. Okay, so we're just going to keep running through. Ooh, we have a chest. <laughs> Basic tutorial 3. Insanity abilities and unite moves. Each character can equip four regular abilities and one recharge ability. In the remaining three slots are your insanity abilities. Okay. Insanity abilities aren't chosen. Okay, they just pop up randomly from abilities you don't have equipped. Nice. As you level up, you gain more abilities, including some that only have a chance to appear as insanity abilities. Don't like the current ins insanity ability set? Whenever you recharge your batteries... <laughs> you recharge your batteries. Oh, I'm sorry, whenever you recharge your abilities, the game re-rolls for new insanity abilities. That's so cool. One more thing, now that you have two characters in your party, you can use Unite abilities. Nice. Each Unite ability can only be used once per battle and cannot be recharged. Okay. Unite abilities start out weak, but the longer the battle progresses, the more powerful they become. Okay, cool. Unite abilities gain 10% charge each turn. Ooh, so don't use them at the beginning. Maxing out at 100% charge on a character's 10th turn. Using a Unite ability while hyper gives it an extra 20% charge beyond the listed amount. It's like you used it two turns later. That's kind of handy. The extra charge cannot exceed the Unite's ability of 100%, obviously, but you can. But can be used for more powerful Unites earlier in the battle. Okay, awesome. That's all for now, we return to your scheduled battle already in progress. <laughs> Ooh, we have, what, what are these? We're gonna use some tentacles. Ah. On this thing. Damn, it used it on all three. I didn't know it would use it on all three. It's a good one to remember. Let's do some lightning. <gasps> How dare you! How dare you! Oh, that's called a seagull. How dare you! Nice. Loving it. So it kind of reminds me of like old style um, Final Fantasy games. Which, obviously, I really enjoyed. You got a pain pill. This item bestows a buff that lets you survive a fatal blow. Awesome, so it takes the pain. Nice. Yeah, I like. I love in the little pixelated characters. The turn-based is perfect for what I like to play. I'm loving this game. It's so cute. And yet, yeah, dark humoured, and it, yeah, really little sings to this little goth heart. You got a strong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a child. You got a strong wand. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. This weapon for crystal isn't actually that strong. Why is it called strong if it's not strong? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh dear. We're getting close to a battle. Oh, hello. You're quite big. And last time, apparently, I used tentacles on everybody. So we're doing that again. Although it seems to divide it up. I'm not sure if it divides up the amount of damage. Take out the big brother. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, I know what we haven't done. We haven't tried to unite. Alright, let's do that. 
how to end the battle quickly. Nice! And we've leveled up. Perfect. So Cthulhu's gonna save Christmas! To be able to destroy the world. Now it makes a bit more fucking sense. I really, really enjoyed that as an opener for a game. My cat has the zoomies, please excuse. Um, and I will be continuing playing it. I would recommend anyone giving it a go. It's a good giggle. Tell me what you thought of the game in the comments below. So guys, have a wonderful Christmas. As much as possible, obviously, for this year. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. And if you ever need anyone to talk to, come and find me over on Twitter. There is a link in the description below this video. I'm, my, my DMs are open for anyone who needs someone to talk to. And until next time, stay safe, stay weird, and I'll see you soon.